a lot of people in the comments have been asking me about what program it is that we're using to open the packs in the Duel Masters progression series. Now, this is actually a program that I made myself. Uh, it started as a project of just me trying to learn how to code, and I wanted to make a program to just like bring limited sealed deck and like cube formats to online Duel Masters. Uh, there is, you can on already on OCTGN, you can make limited games where you add in packs like this, and then when you hit OK, it just gives you all your cards at once. But the thing I didn't like about this is that you don't get the experience of cracking open the pack and the satisfaction of opening the pack. So that's kind of where this whole thing came from. So I spent a lot of time just like making this and it's finally time to release it to the public and let you guys have a chance to open your own packs and make your own Duel Masters progression series as well as a bunch of other additions I've added to this. So let me show you what this has. All you need to do is download this folder that I'm going to leave a link in the description below to download the limited Garabon folder. Once you have it, all you need to do is double click the limited Garabon icon and you will be ready to open some packs. So this app works for both Duel Masters and Kaijudo and introduces a couple different formats in order to pick cards to use from a limited card pool that you can then import into two different programs to play online with. For Duel Masters, you can import it into OCTGN because that's the most popular online Duel Masters platform that I'm aware of. And for Kaijudo, you can import it into Cockatrice, which is the most popular platform I know for that. So let me show you how it works and I'll show you how you can use this. So the sealed format is pretty much you open up booster packs, download the cards that you opened, and then play with the, the cards. So if you just click on sealed, you'll get a list of all the different packs. And it's really as easy as just like clicking it and your pack opens. Uh, you can open as many packs as you want. And you can even open up a couple of these packs and then maybe move on to the next pack and open up as many of those as you want. Uh, it does work uh, with Kaijudo as well. Same thing, you get all your Kaijudo packs. Let's open a couple up. I couldn't find the exact odds on all the cards, but the closest thing I could find was that it's about a one in three chance to get a hollow. So we're running with the odds of three out of 24 packs should be a super rare, and five out of 24 should be a very rare. But of course you can get lucky and get more, or you could get unlucky and get less. So if you wanna play with the cards that you have, let's just like open up a couple packs. Let's just open up some base set. We'll open up 12 packs just for the sake of demonstration. All right, so 12 packs opened. Now, if you wanna play with these, all you have to do is click the save button and we'll save it as card pool and hit okay. And you're pretty much set to go. Now you can play on OCTGN for Duel Masters. So how to load your cards in? Go to game limited game and don't enter any packs here just click ok and from here you want to use this button load card pool from here go to your limited garabon folder and you should find the card pool that you just saved and then open it up and there it is that's the 12 base set packs we just opened it's really straightforward to build your deck through here all you have to do is just double click on the cards and they will go straight into your into your deck and from there you can just save the deck for Kaijudo, it is very much the, the same thing, but Kaijudo does not work on OCTGN, so you have to load it into Cockatrice. So let's just open up a, a few of these dojo packs. I'll just open up 12 again. Same thing, save, and we'll save this as Kaijudo polls. And open up Cockatrice. From here, go to deck editor, load deck, Go to your limited Garabon folder, and here it is, Kaijudo Pulls. Open it up, and there we go, this is the cards that we pulled. Now, building your deck is a little bit less straightforward in Kaijudo because there's not a great way to visualize your cards. The closest thing you can do is go to Cockatrice, start local game, one player, and then load your deck here. Now doing this will lay out all your cards so you can see them a little bit easier, but you can't build your deck from here. What you can do though is from your deck here, if you double click on a card, it sends it to your sideboard. So you could 
I guess choose the cards you want to use and put them into your sideboard. And then when you're when you're done, you can just like click the delete on all these other cards that you don't want. And then just save your deck like that. Then you can go and play your match. If you're on the polls here and you open up a bunch of packs and you want to just reset your polls, it's just a simple one click button. You just click reset and you're back to nothing. So if you want to continue in a progression series like me and Michael are doing, you can save your card pool and load it in later. So when you're on this menu, click load card pool, find your limited Garabon folder, and load the card pool. And just like that, you have the same card pool from last time. Now you can add some extra packs in. So let's open up a few of these, save it again, and we'll save it as card pool two. Now when you go into OCTGN, game, limited game, okay, load card pool, find your limited Garabon folder, and there it is. We have the first base set packs we opened, and at the end, we have the, the survivors packs we opened. So it's really simple to make a progression series like that, and that's what me and Michael have been doing in our progression series. Now, I didn't want to stop there with this app. I wanted to bring a little bit more limited formats instead of just the sealed pack opening. So I brought in Cube and Booster Draft. Let's start with a Booster Draft because it's a little bit simpler. Booster Draft is uh, only available as an online option. This is because you have to play with other people to do a successful Booster Draft. So if you want to play with friends, when you're on the Booster Draft menu, one player needs to host while the other players all will connect. The host, their responsibility is that all the players will be connecting to their computer. So in order to host, you do need to open port forwarding on your router. If you don't know how to do that, I recommend just searching it on Google because it's a little bit different depending on the kind of router that you have. But you need to open up a port 9090 for a TCP connection, then you can play this game. Once you have that set up, all you need to do is click host and wait a second and you will load up the server. Click start server and this will let players connect to your computer. Other players will just have to click connect and enter your IP address. Now, if you don't know what your IP address is, there's a, a lot of websites that you can just search, like what's my IP, and you can find it. We're looking for the IPv4 address. Uh, once that happens, you will break, get this, uh, choose a nickname. So I'll put in Garibon, okay. Now let's just open up another instance here so that we can show this with two players, just because Booster Draft does need uh, more than one player to work. So we'll go to Draft, let's connect, enter the IP address. Choose the nickname, and we should be connected. Once you're in the lobby, you can use the chat room, and it will show up for all the players, like this. And once you are ready, just click the ready button, and the game can begin after all players are ready. So all players are ready, and the player that is the first player to enter the game will be the host. They have total control over what packs are going to be opened. Now the concept of a booster draft is pretty simple. You open up a pack of Duel Masters cards, you take one card to put into your card pool that you're gonna to use to build your deck later, then you pass your pack to the next player. So if you have eight players, for example, everyone passes like in a circle. So player one passes to two, two passes to three, three passes to four, and so on until player eight, they pass all the way back around to player one. So the host will come here, select the pack they want to open. Let's open up a Shadow Clash pack, click on it, and your pack will open. So all players will have their own packs. So you can see we have different cards on each one. When you're ready to pick your card, you've decided what you wanted. I think I'm going to take Miss Riaz here. That sounds pretty good. Click on it, and you will wait for all players to make their selection. Once the last player makes their selection, the cards will automatically pass and you'll be ready to continue the draft. So let's take this locomotiver. Bam! Now we have the other pack and the other player does have the other pack as well. And you can just keep clicking the cards that you want and after they're all picked, it will pass through. You can see your draft pool down here and if you want to see the pictures, you can click on any of the names and see the pictures if you need to read any of this stuff. 
Once you are ready to play and import your card pool to OCTGN, just as before, click Save Card Pool and save your card pool as, we'll just call it Booster Draft. And you can go into OCTGN, Game, Limited Game, OK, Load Card Pool, Limited Garabon Folder, Booster Draft. And there it is, the three cards that we selected. Ideally, you want to go for maybe four packs, five packs with Dual Masters because there's only 10 cards in each pack. So probably five is a good number, but you can do as many as you like. And I guess I'll just show you after uh, all the selections are made that the host gets to choose which pack to open up next. So let's go through, click all these, yada yada. Okay, so once all the cards are selected, now the host can choose the next pack. So let's open up a Stompatron's pack, and here are the cards, let's continue. And you can just go save your card pool as before. The next format is the cube draft format. Now, if you don't know what a cube is, the idea is you basically get like a big sample of usually 360 to 720 cards. And then through different formats, you have ways to select a limited number of those cards to build your deck with. It's very similar to like the booster draft or sealed formats, but because you have control over that sample of 360 to 720 cards, you can select like only the strongest cards in the game. So you can actually make some pretty powerful decks with this. Uh, when you're on this screen, you can load in a cube. So you can build your cube in the OCTGN deck editor save it and then load it in as that deck so i have a pre-installed cube that you can use my cube is a like kind of mid meta dm01 to dm07 cards and the reason i chose these cards is just because they hold the most nostalgia to me in particular and because i really like it that it forces you to come up with new combinations of cards that never see the light of play in a constructed game so here's my cube we'll load it in click open and it will load and you can see the cube and scroll through. And if you want to read the cards, you can click on it and see. So you can see I have like a lot of light, a lot of water. And you can just peruse the cube. And once you're ready, you can begin the draft. Now there's two ways to play the cube draft. You can either play online or play locally on one uh, instance of the window. If you play locally, you're only limited to kinds of drafts where everyone can see every card that's picked. So you only have two options, the Grid Draft and the Winchester Draft. I'll show you both of them really quick. Grid Draft is pretty straightforward. Nine cards are selected at random from the cube and laid out in a 3x3 three three grid. Players take turns choosing either one row or one column and adding those cards to their card pool. So first up is for round one is player one. You can look at the cards and decide which one you want to pick. Now in a limited format, Honestly, like these big beat sticks are actually pretty good because there's not much removal available. So I think I'm going to take pile C with Hanusa, Fighter Duel Fang, and Justice Jamming. So you just click the C and there it is. Player 1 has added it to their card pool and you can peruse your card pool and click through as always. Now for players 2 turn, you can see they could take 3 cards by going for A or B. But if like maybe they really wanted Burst Shot and Sarius, they could click number 2 and they just get the 2 cards. After the selection is made, the round is complete, the remaining cards are discarded forever, and nine new cards are pulled from the cube and laid out in a grid. Now since player one had the first choice on the first grid, now player two can pick first on the second grid. So this pile looks pretty powerful, Twin Cannon, Lost Soul, Ruthless Sky Terror. Let's take that, and now we have it in the card pool, and player one, they'll take this. So you just take turns picking pile after pile until you have a card pool that you're happy with, and then you can build your decks and play. Just as before, you just simply click the save, save player one, and we'll just call it player one. Let's save player two. We'll save it as player two. And as always in OCTGN, game, limited game, load card pool, limited Garabon folder, and player one. Here it is, the cards that player one selected, and we can just check it so you can see it's the same. Yeah, these are all the cards that are on there. So that is the grid draft. Next up is the Winchester draft. Let's take a look at that. In this draft format, four cards are taken at random from the cube and laid out into piles A, B, C, and D. Players take turn choosing one of the pile 
And after you pick your card, another four cards are taken from the cube and laid out one on each pile. So the pile that you take from is only going to have that one new card on it, while the other piles are going to start getting bigger as new cards are added. So let's say player one wants to take that Twin Cannon Sky Terror. Bam! Now the other piles have started to grow a little bit, whereas pile B, that just has the one. So player two, they're probably going to want to take something that has uh, a multiple cards. So as the game keeps going, you get different choices on which ones you want to take. Sometimes, like if you really want Natural Snare more than these four cards, you could take a small pile if you wanted, but as you leave the pile, the other piles get bigger and get a little bit more interesting to take. Once you're finished, once again, you just do save card pool and save it, and you'll be set to load it into OCTGN. The final thing is the online cube draft formats. Again, just like the booster draft, one player has to host, click the host button, and the server will load. And you'll have to choose here between if you want to play Duel Masters or Kaijudo. We're going to play Duel Masters first, so let's start the Duel Masters cube server. Then you can connect with your IP address, just like before. Choose your nickname, and you will be loaded into the cube menu. Wait for all the other players to connect. Choose your nickname. So you will have the chat room, and you have the cube list. It is up to the host to load in the cube once everyone is ready. So go to load cube, find your limited Garabon folder, and we're going to load in the same cube. It will show up for all the players so everyone can peruse the cube at their own liking. And you can play three different formats. We have the grid draft and Winchester draft, which are the exact same thing we showed as before, but you can play it online now. For the grid draft, you can only play it with two players because the, the format's only designed for two, whereas the Winchester draft, you can play with as many players as you like. Uh, the standard draft actually works exactly like the booster draft, but instead of opening a booster pack, 15 cards are taken at random from the cube and given to each player. So let's start that up. You will see 15 cards from the cube, and you have to pick one to add to your card pool and then pass it along. So Aqua Surfer is pretty darn good. Let's take that. And then here we are going to take... Let's take the Aqua Hulkus. That's pretty good. And so you'll just take... Just go through, take one card, and then pass the piles just as before. When you're playing where it takes 15 cards from the cube, I think three to four is a good number of draft rounds. But the more draft rounds you do, the stronger the decks will be. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do. As always, once you're finished, all you have to do is click the Save Card Pool button. Let's save it as uh, just Draft Cube. Hit OK. And in OCTGN, go to your limited game. And just load your card pool in. And there it is. Then you can build your decks and play your games. Now, Kaijudo works almost exactly the same way, but instead of loading into OCTGN, you just load it into Cockatrice. If you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the description below. This is still a work in progress. I literally just started learning how to code like two months ago when I started this project, so I'm still new to it, so there's going to be a lot of bugs in there. On top of that, the user experience and like the user interface is kind of trash right now, so I'm going to be working on improving it in the future. But if you guys are having any troubles or anything didn't make sense, just let me know and I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier and more user friendly in the future. On top of that, the long term goal is to make it so that you can just build your deck straight from within the app, and maybe the long, long distant future it might have a built in dueling simulator. If We'll see. If you want to support this project, the best thing you can do is like, subscribe, and share with your friends, as well as use the link in the description below to buy something on Amazon, and I will make a small commission on it, but you won't pay anything more. Uh, I'm not taking any donations or anything, and it's a completely free app and always will be free. So feel free to just download it and enjoy, and I hope you guys can enjoy playing these draft and limited formats as much as I do. Make your own progression series, play cube drafts with your friends, and just have a good time playing a different style of Duel Masters that you might not be used to playing. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of the Duel Masters progression series. Peace!